case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1979, the Supreme Court of the United States took on a case that would test the waters around the constitutional rights of the accused. A man in North Carolina was found guilty of kidnapping, armed robbery, and felonious assault, but would argue that his incriminating statements, given to FBI agents in New York, were obtained in violation of his Miranda rights. At the heart of the case, North Carolina v. Butler, was the question of whether an explicit statement is always necessary to demonstrate that a person has knowingly and voluntarily waived their right to counsel. Facing serious charges, the man had declined to sign a waiver form after being fully informed of his rights by FBI agents. Nonetheless, he went on to make incriminating statements without requesting a presence of legal counsel or even trying to halt the interrogation process. Taking this into consideration, the North Carolina Supreme Court agreed with his assertions. They cited their interpretation of the landmark case Miranda v. Arizona, leading to the decision to order a new trial with the belief that the requirements for waiving the right to counsel hadn't been met. However, this interpretation was challenged when the case reached the U.S. Supreme Court. Justice Stewart, who authored the majority opinion, pointed to the discrepancy in North Carolina's Supreme Court interpretation of the Miranda case. The conviction of the man was based not on an express waiver, but rather on his incriminations post-arrest and post-advisement of his rights. In a blow to the lower court's ruling, the Supreme Court held that the North Carolina Supreme Court had been too stringent in its interpretation of the Miranda ruling. Emphasizing that not every legal waiver has to be explicit, the court stated that the determination of a waiver should be made on case-specific circumstances. As a result of their ruling, the case was remanded back to the North Carolina Supreme Court for further consideration. The case underscored that the rules defined by Miranda v. Arizona, a cornerstone of American law, were not as rigid as some courts had suggested. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.